Good morning to you, Middle Georgia, and thank you so much for joining us for Daybreak right here on 41 NBC. Making bib commissioners have the task of spending $1 million each, and they're trying to improve blight, blighted areas in their communities. And District 9 Commissioner Al Tillman is joining us this morning. We are right at the corner of Eisenhower Parkway and Bloomfield Road, where the old Taco Bell used to be. And this morning, we're talking more so about what you guys have in plan and in store to make this a better community for Macon Bibb County, right? Yeah, so absolutely. that's right. So a lot of these businesses have been here for more than 20 years. I know this Taco Bell has been here for a while, but you actually um, can see some of the 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 re damage, not damage, but some of the repairs that are being made. Absolutely. First of all, good morning and welcome to the uh, uh, Eisenhower Education Corridor where uh, we're in District 9 and, and we're doing some great things here. Uh, this Taco Bell here where we're standing it has been uh, uh, torn down. It's going to be rebuilt to one of their newest stores. They're making a great investment. So many folks along Eisenhower are making great investment. Uh, you've got a uh, Coon Construction that's doing a great investment with the new uh, Exxon uh, right down in front of Virginia College. Uh, we're just excited about the hotels that, that, that's here in the corridor and we're putting big money over here. Now one of the problems, um, overgrown areas, right? Lots of trees, lots of grass. I mean you can definitely tell this area needs improvement. Absolutely. And what, what, one of the things that, that we did uh, with part of our money is that we want to improve this area. So we're putting $150,000 to improve uh, uh, and revitalize uh, this area as far as removal uh, of trees, debris, uh, refurbishing the, the grass, and really just beautifying it. Uh, Eisenhower Parkway is the second most traveled street in Macon Bill County wow. uh, next to Gray Highway. And so uh, this area here, uh, we want to maintain these people's jobs because that's what it's all about, helping improve uh, the lives and, and being able to have opportunities over here in this area and so we want to keep these people's jobs. So quickly let's break down exactly where the money is spent starting off with 75 percent of it going toward residential. Yeah. Well, actually, yeah. actually uh, you know, uh, I decided that 70%, okay, 70 percent will, will go toward a residential uh, area blight, 25% uh, toward commercial blight, and then another 5% for recreation uh, uh, blight, improving uh, uh, playground areas and so forth. Uh, and so we wanted to include that as well. And so uh, if there's nonprofits and groups and organizations that have ideas and plans, uh, bring them to me because this district has $1 million to spend and try and to improve uh, our, our efforts here in, in District 9. So this is stretching all the way out from I-475 all the way to Central Georgia Technical College. What do you want the community to know about this district? Well, we want folks to know that we uh, want them to have the same opportunities that other areas have and that we want to be able to save their jobs uh, right here in the corridor. And so uh, come help us improve it and, uh, and keep it safe and sound. All right. Well, thank you so much, Commissioner Tillman. And again, we will be out here all morning learning more about what they're doing for the Blight Improvement Project and how Macon Bib is trying to be a little bit more competitive. Sean, how's it going? Thanks, Taylor. Yeah, definitely some great stuff going on down there at the Eisenhower Quarter. Appreciate it. We'll hear from you here in just a second. It's a daybreak. Good morning to you at home. Hopefully you are still staying with us for daybreak. If you're not and you're joining us for the first time, again, good morning. We're here at the corner of Eisenhower Parkway and Bloomfield Road where Commissioner Al Tillman is joining us literally on crutches. We appreciate you for being out here because we could go in the dirt right now if you wanted to, right? That's right. Hey, <laughs> we're, we're, we're working hard. That's right. O only you guys can get me up this time of morning. Right? <laughs> only us. So we're talking about $1 million being spent, right? And commissioners have a chance to get that those blighted areas out of the way, making sure that the community sees the beauty in what they have in Macon Bibb County. Now, I want you to take a look at these before and after photos. Hopefully, we have those pulled up for you, and hopefully, you're seeing the Macon map and also the photos of what the Eisenhower corridor looks like right now, and then what I. Al Tillman actually hopes it will look like soon. You're actually getting started right now on some of these projects. We're standing in the old Taco Bell right now. Right. This uh, Taco Bell is going to be uh, rebuilt to a nicer, more updated, modern uh, Taco Bell. Great things happen in the corridor from Eisenhower to Napier. Uh, Napier Avenue, uh, uh, Pastor uh, 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 Bryant Rains is, is doing some great stuff. Got some surprises for Napier Avenue, Robinson Road area. Uh, some other great folks, uh, Con Construction, got a new Exxon that's coming over there. 
Uh, uh, got something that's coming here on Eisenhower. Another, another one next Wednesday. Everybody could come out for free hot dogs and drinks at Mercer and Dell, uh, Dell Avenue for uh, from eight to five for uh, free drinks and hot dogs. Just the district is doing so many things, and so hopefully with this one million dollar blight, if uh, people that have ideas, suggestions, plans, or uh, nonprofits. Uh, Reverend Rains has a great plan. Uh, some other folks. Uh, we're just excited about what's happened on Eisenhower and in the entire district. And the goal is to make sure that a lot of these old buildings that are run down, boarded up, um, are knocked down and rehabilitated. Now, you have $75,000 for capital investments, but you said earlier that there was $150,000 total. So, commissioners can team up and make sure Absol that these projects happen. Absolutely. Uh, Commissioner Gary Bechtel in District 1. Uh, 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 help sponsor of 75,000, so we have 150,000 total. Also, for the Henry Barnes Park, part of that 5% recreation, I put up 20,000. He matched it with another 20, so we got 40,000 for Henry Barnes Park. Uh, and so it's just great. Commissioners can partner. I look to partner with other commissioners uh, that's doing some work, some blighted areas. This is what's, what's a, it, it, it's about. And, and just people need to realize that this is startup money. Uh, it's going to probably take another $40, $50 million of, of blight funds and a next splash to help uh, really alleviate uh, blight. And this $10 million is a startup. And hopefully folks can see a true impact of what it's going what it's going to do for uh, their area. Well, thank you so much, Al, for joining us, even on your crutches, right? <laughs> All right. So again, Sean, plans are still being made. They need to get some more money out here, but this is a good start for all of the districts, including District 9, where Al Tillman works. So we'll keep you updated. Again, you can log on to 41BC.com to hear more about the blight improvement projects and the Eisenhower Corridor project that's going on right now. Reporting live in Macon, Taylor. Terrell, 41 NBC News. Yeah, Taylor, definitely some good stuff there in District 9, and hopefully Al Tillman can continue the great work. And Marco,